The top 10 weirdest laws in the U.S. If you're like me, you're a very curious person. Very curious. You're a very curious person. And you want to know stuff that you typically won't use in the real world situation. But you want to know because you're bored and you have nothing to do. Well, if you're like me, that's exactly what this is. The top 10 weirdest laws in the U.S. If you want me to, like a USA. If you want me to go through different countries or continents or whatever, I will gladly do that. It just comment down below what country you want me to do. Uh, this is just the U.S. because I live in the U.S. And, and yeah, I, 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 there's no other reason why. So in number 10, in Georgia, it is illegal to live on a boat for 30 days. Now, I don't exactly know why this is. Uh, it's not like I'm just going to go in a boat and live on it for 31 days or I guess you'll get arrested or something stupid. I guess it's just illegal. I don't know exactly how they're going to track that. Like, are they just going to be like, hey, by chance, have you been on this boat for more than 30 days? I don't even know how you physically would be able to track that across the entire state of Georgia, but there's some information, I guess. So in Florida, uh, legal parking fees must be paid towards animals. I don't exactly even know what that means. Like, do animals drive in uh, Florida? Like, is that like, a, like, do they have to pay their legal fees, like their like parking fees? I don't exactly know what that means. Like, do you just have a dog or cat in your passenger seat? And if you get a fine, they have to pay it too. That doesn't make any, I, I generally don't know what this law is, but that's what it says. I, I generally, I probably should have done research on this because that generally just doesn't make any sense. Like, oh boy, I can't wait to, uh, let my dog pay my uh, parking fee today. That would be crazy. Okay, so in Delaware, you can't sell dog hair. I I get I can see where this is coming from. Like it's kind of weird that you're selling dog hair, but at the same time, I'm guessing people are like, dog hair, yippity yippity you. You know what I'm saying? But uh, why Delaware? Like why is that like a funny thing that I'm? Uh, I don't I don't exactly know who's selling dog hair. I'm personally not gonna sell that, and probably well, most likely will never even. Think about selling dog hair. Don't even know how you even get in that position, but you can't do it in Delaware. So this is personally my favorite or one of my favorites. Uh, number seven. I haven't been doing the numbers because why would I do the numbers with a the movie? But in Connecticut, if you have a pickle, it has to bounce. Like if your your pickle doesn't bounce, that's breaking the law. You better drop your pickle and see if it bounces because if not, man, you're in trouble because you're. I don't know. I don't like this. Is the weirdest laws, but still. Why would you? Need, why would your pickle need a bounce? Like, oh wow, my pickle just drops flat and just stays there. I guess, guess I'm going to jail. I don't exactly know if all these laws really mean you're going to jail. I think just some of them are really stupid. It's just it's like it's just funny. It's not really stupid. It's just really funny and really like, inconvenient. Like, why would you want to drop a pickle and see if you can actually get arrested or not? Probably just like a small fee, like five dollar fee if the pickle don't. Like, I would just eat the pickle before they can even test it. Like. And what pick? What thing do you drop on the ground that doesn't bounce? Like, there's not many things that you just go whoop and they just because of physics. But why pickles in Colorado? You can't have a couch on your porch. Shocker! I don't know why there. I don't know why you cannot have a uh, couch on your porch. It seems like that's weird. And what happens if you have a couch on your porch? Do you like they have to remove it? Do you put it in your like doesn't? Doesn't make any sense. And how many couches do you see on porches? Like, I, I get with these laws, right? That means something bad must have happened with this. Did a couch, like, kill someone or something that was on a porch? Like, I don't understand half of these. So in California, it's illegal to uh, whistle for a lost carry after 7 a.m. Don't know if that's actually how you pronounce it, a lost carry. It's a bird. But anyways, you cannot whistle for them uh, after 7 a.m. Or not after, sorry, before. I just, sorry about that. I just get it. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Why specifically that bird? What happened? Is that like bird, ex like, I don't know. These are the weirdest laws. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is a weird one because I've heard this before because right now I live in Arkansas. Or, yeah, right now I live in Arkansas. So, uh, after 9 a.m., you cannot honk your horn near a sandwich shop. And I'm guessing this has to do with Subway and stuff. They were, I'm sorry if I hit the mic. But uh, after 9 a.m., you cannot hit your horn near it. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I've had this, like, we've talked about this before in school and stuff. Don't exactly know why. It's just kind of strange, but it is a thing because why not? So number three, in Arizona, okay? This is specifically in Arizona for some reason. It's illegal for a donkey to sleep in a bathtub. My bad. Bad. Like, why do you have a donkey in a bathtub? 
Don't get why are you why are you in a bath? Like why is it in a bath? Why? What? When do you have a donkey in a bathtub? Like, wait, wait, how is that? What? And then number two, in Alaska, you cannot put a uh, animal in an open back seat. I guess like the back of a vehicle cannot be opened. I don't, I don't really know. Like, uh, of course, the animal could run out on the street. I guess I don't. Yeah, it's just, it's just weird. Oh, get this. Number one, the weirdest law in the U.S. Uh, to this website. I'm not going to put the website in because you probably just look it up to find it yourself. But, sorry about that. The weirdest law in the United States is in uh, Alabama. You cannot drive with a blind phone on. What state can you drive with a blind phone on? Like, that, I got to question that one. What state can you do that in? Because I don't want to go to that state because that means there's probably someone with a blind phone on. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below if you learned anything new. I'm on the way to 2K. Please let me get 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year because uh, I'm struggling. But anyways, guys, uh, let me know in the comments if you uh, what you found interesting, what country or whatever I should do next. But anyways, guys, peace out.